Hello students, welcome to guitar lesson number four. We learned four chords already. Reminder, a chord is when we hear more than one pitch at the same time. So when we were strumming those three strings, we'd hear three pitches at the same time based on where we put our fingers for those different pitches. Today, we're gonna learn three new notes, but that's it, they're just notes, they're not chords. So we will only be strumming one string at a time to get these pitches. And this is where we go to a review of reading notes on the treble clef staff, as well as reading rhythms, because we're not gonna see just quarter note slashes anymore. So let's start with looking at rhythms. These are the different notes that we have learned. We know the whole note gets four beats. This is fun math to go, our whole note's our longest note. It's the longest one. So now we're just gonna cut that whole note in half. What do we have left? Two beats, which means our half note, which is half of that whole note, gets two beats. For a half note, the stem can go down. It would be on the left side, or the stem can go up. It's the exact same thing. It doesn't make a difference. It just depends on where it is on that staff, but it still only gets two beats. And then, of course, we have our half note at two beats. Cut that in half. What do we get? One which means our quarter note here that's colored in, that note has colored in, gets one beat. The quarter note gets one beat. And a quarter note, here are some fractions, more fractions, a quarter note is a quarter of that whole note. So if I have four beats for my whole note, this is a quarter, this is a quarter, this is a quarter, this is a quarter. So one quarter or one fourth of four is one. And there's our quarter note. Some tricky math working with fractions, but try to remember that. And now we're moving on to the staff. We know that the staff is those five lines and four spaces. We use our hand as our staff, right? Because we have five lines, always start at the bottom, and four spaces. And the sentence I have taught you to remember those pitches, we start at the invisible ledger line below the staff. Crazy Elvis's guitar broke down Friday afternoon. Crazy starts with C, so this pitch is a C. Elvis starts with E, guitar starts with G, Broke starts with a B, down starts with D, Friday starts with F, and afternoon starts with A. So we use that sentence to remember the different pitches on the staff. Then for the space is a little bit easier. A face is in the space. <laughs> Take out your staff, start at the bottom, in the spaces this time, and just spell face in the space. F, A, C, E. But there's a space below the staff since we have that ledger line below the staff. And there's a space above the staff since we have that ledger line above the staff. And we call those those dog gone spaces. D, G, right? And of course, those are just the pitches of the treble clef staff. That there is our treble clef symbol. So when we look at our staff and we're reading pitches on the staff, the first thing we have to ask ourselves before we figure out what pitch it is, is is it on a line or in a space? So if we look at this first one here, it's in the space because that note head, there's no line going through it. That note head is in between two lines. And this is A because face in the space, F, A. This next one, you can see it's getting higher, so that'll help with our musical alphabet. But it's on a line because the line is going straight through that note head. So I say my sentence, start at the invisible line below, crazy Elvis's guitar broke. I know that that is a B. Same thing, space, face in the space, F, A, C, line, Crazy Elvis's guitar broke down. Space, face in the space, F-A-C-E, line. Crazy Elvis's guitar broke down Friday. And look at that, there's our doggone space at the top, so there's a G. So that is reading pitches on the treble clef staff, and we are gonna learn how to play three of those pitches today. So we are starting with E. So you can see we have to first figure out where it is because here's our treble clef staff and there's our note. Um, it is in a space because it's in between the lines, F, A, C, E. And when we play E, it's not quite so tricky because it is an open string. Remember the names of our strings? Oh, I'm hitting stuff all over the place. Um, when we say <laughs> our strings, we start at the top and our sentence is Eddie ate dynamite. Goodbye, Eddie right? So Eddie, we actually had two Eddies, right? We have this Eddie on top and Eddie on bottom. Question, which one is high and which one is low? Here's our Eddie on top. Here's our Eddie on bottom. Yeah, this gets a little bit confusing. The top one is the lower pitch. The bottom one is the higher pitch. But if we look at the staff, we are playing up high. So we're actually playing this string on the bottom. It's 
not the top because that's low, but this is our high E. So it's easy to read E and play E on the staff because it's that top space. We know it's this bottom string. I just hit another guitar with my guitar. Um, and then we just play it, just play just that string. We don't have to put any fingers from the left hand anywhere. We just hold that neck and there's our high E. So let's go ahead and play this song down here. We have quarter notes, quarter notes get one beat. And we're gonna count, I want you to try to count out loud with me. We'll just count four because remember we have each measure, eight measures of four counts each. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. All right, so there's our first pitch, high E. Now this one's a little bit trickier because we have to put our finger someplace. Now we have F, I hope, yep, there it is. We have F, it's high also because it's way at the top of the staff. This time we're on a line, so Crazy Elsa's guitar broke down Friday. That's how we know it's an F. So we have our one finger, first fret, first string. So this is, looks just like our G7 chord, right? But remember, a chord is more than one pitch. So we're not going to strum, but we're only going to play that bottom string for F. Just play that one bottom string there. Let me see if I can make this any taller. Can you see my bottom string? There's my string. No, not really. And there's our F. So now let's play our song at the bottom. Looks like we have four E's. So it starts in the space. So we have E, 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 E. F, 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 E, 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 and on F, 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 F. Are you ready? So to switch from E and F, it's all on that bottom string there. All you're doing is putting your finger, lifting it for E, put it on for F. All right, are we ready to try it? One, two, ready, go. E, 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 F, 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 E, 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 E. too bad yet, right? One more pitch to learn for this lesson today. And this is G. Um, not too tricky, actually, because if we think of the G chord we learned, it's exactly the same, except we're only playing one string instead of strumming those three strings. So first, let's figure out how we know it's G. It's high G because it's way there above the staff. The space above the staff are those doggone spaces. So there's our G. We need our third finger, so that's our ring finger. Count one, two, three. Third fret, first string. So my third finger, I'm gonna count one, two, third fret, first string. So remember our G chord, this was G, we would just strum those bottom three strings, but now for just the one note G, the one pitch G, I'm just going to play that one string for G. Okay, does it make sense? So we have open, our open E, open means we don't put any fingers down. So E on that first string, F on that first string, and G on that first string. So we're only playing that first string. You can just keep your thumb ready to um, hold on to that first string only. And we just gotta remember where to put our fingers as we read our song. So it looks like we start on E, 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 F, 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 G, 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 G back to F, 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 rest. And I'm gonna have you figure out the rest with me as we go with the mountain climber. One, two, ready, go. E, 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 F, 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 F G, 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 F, 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 rest. F, 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 G, 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 F, F, G, G, E, F, E, rest. Did you get it? That one measure at the end is a little bit trickier because we're jumping E, F, uh, E, is that G or F? But remember, I'm up sound E, G, E. So I actually played it wrong because I couldn't read it. E, G, E, right? Okay, go ahead and get practicing the mountain climber. This is a test zone.